Hey everyone, my name is Nick Myers, and I'm a member of the bass section of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. I've been playing the bass since I was in sixth grade, just starting out in the public school music program, because I've always loved the sound of this instrument. So it's really a dream come true to be able to be playing in an orchestra this great. We really miss performing, but hopefully we'll see you back in the hall as soon as possible. So I'd like to just take this time to show you around my instrument, double bass. So, this is a string instrument, but unlike the other string instruments, which play a lot of melodies, we pretty much do two things. We play rhythmically, establishing parts of the measure, and we also play harmonically. Uh, so, sort of establishing tonality. Our strings are tuned in fourths, not fifths, which is also different from other string instruments. So we have the same string names as a violin, they have E, A, D, G, but we have E, A, D, and G. So when I pull the strings with my hands, that's a technique called pizzicato. And it kind of sounds a lot like a timpani hit. But when, when I don't pull the strings with my hands, when I use the bow, it's called arco. And that's something that's unique about the double bass as well, because we actually have two different kinds of bows and two different ways of holding them. So the first way, which is probably more familiar to other string players is called French bow. And it looks like this. So the French bow is a little bit shorter, a little bit thicker. The frog is narrow, and you hold it overhand. So you draw the bow just like you would any other string instrument would. But more regularly in orchestra, I play German bow, which looks like this. So the German bow is slightly longer, a little thinner, and the frog is taller. So you actually hold it underhand like this. You should be able to get pretty much the same sounds out of either bow. It's just a matter of personal preference. So if you see people doing different things on stage, that's all it is. This instrument itself is actually an old American instrument, which is sort of unconventional. Uh, the really fine string instruments generally come from Europe. Um, Italian instruments are probably the most prized, but English, German, and French are also really good. But the American school of double bass making sort of developed out of necessity, because when people were coming over from Europe, it was really hard to justify putting an instrument this large in a ship and shipping it over across the ocean. So the maker of this instrument, Abraham Prescott, made this bass in 1836 in Concord, New Hampshire. He was just a former furniture maker, so he would fill the need, and he made uh, church basses, double basses, vials, gambas, um, even timpani heads. And so it was kind of a, a new thing in this continent. I, I acquired this instrument uh, last season after I won the job, and I absolutely love it. It's a dream to play in the orchestra just because it's so big and cushiony, and it really just provides great, great warmth to the low register. I'll just spin the, the instrument around a little bit. It has a flat back, and it's got gamba corners, so they're a little bit more rounded. They don't have an ornamental... Uh, little prong like the other string instruments. Uh, if you look up here, this is what's called an extension. And an extension allows you to play lower notes. And so the, the usual strings on a bass, as I said earlier, are G, D, A, and E. But to really double the bass, meaning to play an octave below what the cellos sound, we have to be able to play this note. And so the solution over in Germany is to just add another string to the double bass. So it's a five string instrument over there with a low B string. And here we use an extension. And so the extension works like this. The string travels over this extra piece of wood and through the scroll and is still attached to a tuning peg. And so what happens is these uh, pieces of ebony actually trap the string and hold it to the extension, just like a guitar cable. So when I play, I'll kind of guide you through it. Each one is a note lower. E flat, D, C sharp, C, and then B, so I can match the register of a five string double bass. I really love this instrument and it's, it's just a great joy to be performing it. Like I said earlier, um, we, we really wish we could be giving concerts right now, and unfortunately we can't.
because of the coronavirus. But if you need your orchestra fix, please go to dso.org slash replay, and you can catch any of the classical concerts we've done in previous seasons. Especially this season when we've added 4K video to our cameras, you can see a lot of what's going on um, almost better than you could in the hall. The sound isn't quite the same as, as the live uh, musical experience, but if you really like seeing what's going on with instruments, it's the way to go. So please join us, and I hope to see you back in the hall as soon as we can. Thanks. Stay healthy.